Have you ever had gravy stuffed biscuits? Yeah, me either. But let's get into this gravy stuffed biscuits. Yes, it's pretty much as biscuits and gravy, but in a stuffed form. Let's get to it. Ooh, I'm going to Kimmy's. You know she got plenty. Plenty food for me to eat. Mommy, why are you making the cake? For a good biscuits and gravy, you don't need much. You need some good old sausage. Jimmy Dane. Yes, I said Jimmy Dane. That's how I say it. You get into a hot pan. You break it up really, really well. You don't want big chunks of sausage into your gravy. And cook it till it's well done. Not medium well. Not almost cooked. Well done. Please and thank you. Now get you a little bit of flour. Throw it in the pan. Leave that grease up in there. And cook that flour down for about two, three minutes. Yes, flour is raw. Yes, you're not supposed to eat raw flour. So cook your flour down for about two, three minutes. It'll get a little bit brown. But it's not regular gravy, so it don't need to be that brown. Once the flour is cooked down pretty well, go ahead and add in some milk, whole milk. That's all you need to this. You can add heavy cream if you want to, but I feel like milk does it way more just than heavy cream. When it comes to the gravy for sausage and gravy, you don't need much seasoning, but I do like to add some Italian seasoning, the no salt kind, of course. There are many different kinds of Italian seasoning and not all the same, but I do use the Italian herb grinder one. Then add a little pinch of salt in there as well and some pepper. Pepper is very much needed into the sausage gravy. Now mix everything together and start cooking that gravy down. If you want to be a bit thicker, cook it for a little bit longer or add more flour. If you want to be a little bit looser, add some more cold milk to this. Now y'all know what I'm going to say. I like my gravy, I like my man. Thick. So in the beginning, I added a lot of flour to this. So with the more flour you add, the thicker it will be. Cook it down for about 3-4 minutes on medium low heat and look at that beautiful gravy right there. If it's too thick, like I said earlier, add a little bit more whole milk to it. It'll be okay. Because we are putting this gravy mixture into a biscuit, we need to make sure it's completely cool. Go ahead and pop it in the freezer for a few hours. Now remember, go ahead and put your side to the side a little bit. You might want a little taste text action going on or making these biscuits, okay? It's fine. Put it to the side. Put the rest in the freezer for at least two, three hours to completely cool. Once it's cool, it'll be real thick and easy to put into the biscuit mixture. Let's get to making these homemade biscuits. Yes, you can buy the grands, but baby, we are grown around here. Biscuits are not that hard to make. All you need is some all-purpose flour, some buttermilk, some real butter, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and some sugar. Get you some real cold butter. You can grate it, but I like to cube mine. I like to have pockets of butter in my biscuit. So I go ahead and cube yours to small little cubes. Put it back in the fridge for about a few minutes because after working with butter, it will get a little bit of soft on you. Once you break it up to the little cubes, put it into the biscuit mixture, and baby, it will be flaky and have buttery pockets all through the biscuits. While that's in the fridge, go ahead and get all your dry ingredients together. Always add your dry ingredients together first. Mix them really, really well, and then add your wet ingredients. I'm adding my baking soda in there, my sugar, my salt, my baking powder, and mix everything all together really good. You can use a whisk for this part, but you don't have a whisk. You can definitely use a spoon or a fork. Whatever you have on hand to mix it really, really well, use that. Now get your cold butter out the fridge and add it into the flour mixture. You can use a pastry cutter to cut the butter into the flour, but I like using my hands. But your hands, you can definitely feel how big the butter pieces are. You want them to be like a piece-sized piece, not too big, not too small. And with your hands, you just have more control. Now your hands can get a little bit on the warm side, so don't do too much. Put it in the fridge if you need to to get it back cold because you do not want it to melt before you put it in the oven. Once I got the butter off like I needed to be, I went ahead and got my cold, very cold buttermilk and I poured it into my flour mixture. You can also mix the buttermilk with your hands, but baby, that's a little bit too messy even for me. So I got me a little silicone spatula and I folded that buttermilk into it. Do not over mix. You will do most of the mixing on a floured surface like your clean counter. We are just using the spatula to get the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients combined. You see how you can still see the chunks of butter in the flour mixture? That is what you want. Don't look perfect. For regular biscuits, we would take this out, put it on a flour surface and knead it some more and shape it to the shape we need for the biscuits. But because we are doing stuffed biscuits, we're not going to do all that part. You can still put it on a flour surface and knead it, but you really don't have to. I got some of the biscuit mixture into my hand, my floured hand. Flatten it down, got that really, really cold, almost frozen sausage gravy. We're gonna scoop it out. We're gonna put it in the middle of that biscuit mixture. Then we're gonna seal it really, really tight. As tight as you possibly can. If you need to add more biscuit mixture on top, just do that. You can start off small. I did make some pretty big biscuits. Yeah, they are pretty huge, but like me, I like everything big, whoa. This will be a very messy process, but do you see that piece of butter just sitting there looking all pretty like me? 
that's how you know your biscuits are biscuiting. Put it on a lightly greased surface and then do the rest of them. It's gonna take about 15 minutes or so. Eh, maybe a little more than that. You'll get the hang of it pretty soon. Second time around, I definitely put a glove on though because my hands are real messy. I did brush my biscuits with a little bit of egg wash, which pretty much is two beaten eggs. That's it. I don't add none to my egg wash. I like my hat to have a golden brown texture on top, but you don't know how to do this part if you don't like eggs or you can't have eggs. You can use regular butter or just buttermilk. Pop it up and on 450 for about 15, 20 minutes till it get nice and brown on top. Like who? Like us and like me. I got about six biscuits with this mixture, but you probably have more. And you got, boom, stuff, biscuits, and gravy. See, I brush mine with a little bit of garlic and herb butter because I'm grown. But you don't have to do that part if you don't want to. You can use regular butter, but it's gravy and biscuits, not jelly and biscuits. So throw a little garlic and herb butter on top of there. Go ahead and bust that thing up like your mom was doing that Freak Nick 99. Then go ahead and add a little more gravy on top if you need it. If you don't, baby, just bite into it and look at this bite right here. Ain't that so pretty like who? Like me. You gonna change the brunch game forever for this one. I love y'all. Aight, bye.